Megan motherfucking Helenthal. Matt motherfucking Jordan. Hey, I'm about to head to my dad's house to hopefully borrow some money. You down? Wait, I thought you had a job already. Oh, yeah, well, that didn't work out. So, security number? Uh, 4206969. And how many people have peed on you? Excuse me? So, five people? Are you even a real census worker? Oh, six people. No, no one's peed on me. All right, pee pants. Unless you want this plastered all over my space, you better cough up five bucks. And uh, let me inside. Uh, come on in. So you down? Yeah, I'm totally free. Okay, come when you're ready. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Uh, and I now pronounce you man and wife. Uh, you may kiss the bride or do whatever you want. Just don't have sex with other people. We're doing marriage is life. Bye. We're done here. So in conclusion, please give me money. J jazz hands. <laughs> Wait, didn't I give you money last week? What happened to that? Rent. To hell with these movies. Fuck rent. Listen, kiddo. You need to stop mooching off the system and pull yourself up by your bootstraps like I did 30 years ago when I built this political consulting firm from the ground up and became a titan of the industry. Do you think that I did that by asking Papa for his hard-earned money? No, I used my wits, an unprecedentedly forgiving economy, and millions of dollars of insurance money that I received when someone beat your grandfather to death with the Bible because someone mistook him for the little demon girl in the Exorcist movies. Because, you see, that's what makes this country great. It's not just the fact that you can trick any idiot into believing that they have a voice, or that our legal system can be manipulated. It's the fact that hard work pays off, especially if you're upper class and well-connected. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, that? That was a rousing political speech. It's how we distract the public from the actual issues. Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. You and your little friend here clearly need to learn the value of hard work and I need a vacation. Why don't you take over my business? I don't know. We have a lot going on right now. <sighs> Fuck it. So tell me, why do you want to work here? Uh, I really want to be able to update my Tinder, I mean resume. Cool. So how many people have peed on you? Wait, what? Ooh, so seven. Is that, is that really on there? Are you two done with all that? I'd like to introduce your first client. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm Chip Freedom, and I'm running for governor senator. Chip, what's your platform? <laughs> My platform is something I think we can all agree with across party lines. Puppets. <gasps> That's pretty good. But I think you're gonna cure cancer. <laughs> I could be for that too. <laughs> Shut the fuck up!
Hey, what's all that commotion going on outside? Nah. What an adorable baby. <laughs> Damn it! I shot a fucking gun! A fucking blow this bitch's brains out! I'm gonna fucking kill her! This is Robin Thompson reporting live for Channel 69 News. We just received reports in that a crazy man has just taken a hostage. Probably because he saw the Joker last night. Now checking in. It seems to be the situation, officer. Oh, well, that guy wants to blow out that lady's brains. Hm. You mind if I try talking to him? Totally goes against protocol, but you're handsome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Wait, Chip, what are you doing? Book him, Dano. Hello, friend. I'm not your fucking friend, man! I don't even know who the fuck you are! You're right. You don't know me. My name is Chip Freedom. What's your name? My name is SHUT THE FUCK UP! Or I will kill this bitch! Okay, okay. Fair enough. Have you, uh, seen any good shows lately? What? What? I mean, wh wh what's the fucking point? Well, it's like what you said. You don't know me, so I'm just trying to get to know you. I mean, I guess I've been watching The Good Place now, and that's been pretty good. Oh. <laughs> That show is so good, right? Yeah, yeah, it really is. <laughs> well, friend, you were right earlier. I don't know very much about you at all. But I venture to say I do know a little bit about what you're going through. I understand. I know what it feels like to wake up every morning knowing you're the only person fighting a battle you feel like you're losing every day. But although I can't promise that winning will be easy, I do know that it does get a little bit better every day. And besides, don't you want to see how the good place ends? I do! <laughs> that Danson is a treasure! <laughs> he is. Now why don't you put the gun down and let the nice lady go? But before you do, I just want you to know, you're my good place. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! 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 We represent you. In a stunning turn in events, political newcomer Chip Freedom has appeared on the scene and resolved the hostage situation with zero casualties. I know who I'm voting for. Take away anyone's guns, we're trying to make everyone bulletproof. Get it right! Fox News, more like Fox News. Who knew trying to change the world would be so much work? I don't know what's worse, dealing with all this paperwork or dealing with the media. Yeah, like I've barely been in the paper since Chip started blowing up. Ugh. And fuck Chip Freedom. We need a new candidate. <laughs> you guys, no, I'm literally standing right here. Yeah. You don't know that? That's okay. <laughs> oh, three letter word for America God. What's your take on puppies? Kittens! <laughs> what about them? <laughs> Stabbing them. Okay. What's your stance on curing cancer? I'm all for it. 
We just make a bigger super cancer. We put it in guns and sell those to the Iranians. Yeah. Boys, I think we're looking at our new governor, Senator. <laughs> and I've been beat on eight times. For <laughs> oh, you, you little boot. <laughs> now come here. Look at this guy. Can't believe that asshole Chip got another political consultant. And he's running against you. Don't worry about that, baby. The devil knows how to take care of business. I'll have done to him what I had done to Lincoln. <laughs> you, you got him a top hat? You made him gay? No! <laughs> Good luck. Your dad says hi. Anderson Pooper, let's get this done. Heathens of America, why present futile plans for moving this country forward when what we truly need is a return to the glorious past? Long forgotten are the days when science wasn't used to spread propaganda, but to justify the ownership of human beings. Long forgotten are the days when you could accuse a woman of being a witch and have her burned at the stake all in one glorious afternoon. Long forgotten are the days when society's ugly, pitiful, and stupid could simply be locked away, never to blight our sight again. Long forgotten are the days when you could shoot a man where he stood for threatening to take what is yours. Long forgotten are the days before the Johns, Stuart, Oliver, and the Baptists. Comrades! We have lost our way. And for what? The charlatans will tell you it's for notions of truth, of justice, and equality. Those are lies! Because much like the brightest stars are destined to be swallowed by the howling void, I will bring darkness to this world! Join me, and we will have absolute freedom, not by my iron fist, nor by my fire fist, but by my iron fire fist. I shall make America hell again. <laughs> Now that was something. Now let's hear from the non-demon overlord candidate. He's right. He's right. <laughs> you know, I believe in him. I really do. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying this since technically we are running against each other, but when I look at my partner here, I don't see evil or the devil himself or a creature beyond our comprehension. I see a friend. 
He was an angel once, serving God himself or herself. While many like to associate my partner with the most wicked things this world could ever imagine, we forget to acknowledge that he was created by the most perfect being in the entire universe. Sure, we all make mistakes. I myself have made my fair share, like keeping my Christmas decorations up until February. But when I look at my friend, I don't see evil. I see an angel who's struggling every day to make sense of this cold, crazy world that we live in, just like myself and everyone else in this room. I believe in you. And I believe that if we work together, we can build our own heaven right here on earth. That's why I'm running for governor senator. I love you, I love you, and I love you all. God bless you. Jesus. All my years living under the earth, torturing shitty politicians, never have I met anyone as genuine as Chip Freedom? Fuck it. <laughs> to puppies! <laughs>
seasons of fuck. Now I'm going to go watch some actual quality TV. I suggest you do the same.